Who are you again? The Johnny Cage. He's playing with his own doll. What are you trying to say? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you got caged. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. You got caged. Oh my God. That is so brutal. And it's. <laughs> yes. A fatality. <laughs> <laughs> the Academy Award. He's a douche. <laughs> but he's a douche. Hey, I'm Casper Van Dien. Welcome to Experts React. I'm an expert on Johnny Cage. Because, well, I got to say you got caged on film. And, and then do it. You want to react forever? I'm reacting. I'm very reactive. You got caged. Have you been to Hollywood? I've played several different Mortal Kombat games. I don't know if I have a favorite one, but I I played, I, I guess I'm gonna go uh, real old school on this. Uh, I played the, the machines, the big stand-up machines, and I played Johnny Cage, no matter what it was. He was the character I played, and then when I got uh, when I got offered for it, when I got offered the role for it, Kevin Tancheron was the director of uh, Mortal Kombat uh, Legacy, and he wanted me to come in for season two, and I went up to him and I went, so you're the guy that wants me as Johnny Cage? He goes, oh my God, you're perfect. And I said, what are you trying to say? And he said, oh, you're, you're perfect. I'm a D-list actor that can't get a job? And he went, oh my God, this is exactly what I want. And I went, all right. I couldn't believe it, because I, I know it was originally supposed to be, uh, you know, Jean-Claude Van Damme. I know he's supposed to be it. Those rooms I always heard, but um, you know, and I, of course, I got to work out, and I lived in Malibu, and Lyndon Ashby came. Lyndon Ashby came up to me, and he said, "Hey, Johnny Cage," and I go, "Hey, Johnny, the Johnny Cage." So it was like uh, I, I got to meet him, and he was just the sweetest guy. We took a picture, and we're like double caged, and uh, which was just awesome. Look at that, so cool. He's always got the sunglasses. In my third season of, of, of uh, Mortal Kombat, which never came out, but we finished, it's a really great episode. I hope somebody puts it out there someday, and I'm, I'm hoping they, maybe they will before they release this new one. I had the coolest, you know, cage belt, and I had the Johnny tattoo across my chest, and uh, such cool glasses and everything like that. Oh, this is just awesome. The graphics are so cool, it's so bloody. <laughs> Yeah. And then, but in season two, I fought Melania and Katana, and uh, Melania and Katana, and uh, I'm getting destroyed. Look at those glasses. There you go. So, so epic. <laughs> Such a great character. Look at that. That's so great. <laughs> Fatality. So cool. Um, yeah. This is one of my favorite characters that I've ever gotten to play. My favorite characters for me, you know, of course, Johnny Rico and Starship Troopers. And then for more on uh, Starship Troopers, check out my episode on Helldivers 2. And being Johnny Cage, it's just such a, a cool character. I literally remember my uh, the, that director just the whole time going, oh my God, you're so perfect. And I, and I used to look at him like, I can't believe you're saying this to me. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, Johnny Cage wins. Johnny Cage wins. Oh, that's so great. Like, uh, Johnny Cage should win. He doesn't always win, but he, he should win. He's got nothing to lose except for me. He's already lost his dignity. Oh, this is, I played this one too. I, I fought and, and trained for a lot of different times with a lot of different people. I've had uh, Garrett Warren's been my my was my Taekwondo instructor and boxing guy, and but I only do it to look pretty. The real fighters, like uh, the guy for season one, was a great fighter, great kicker, and everything like that. But I think they wanted uh, for season two. I think they were going for more of a comedy thing, and I don't know why they hired me. But anyhow, uh, I. It was just a thrill for me. So I got to be around all these guys. I always choose whenever I go, whenever I'm working out, where I'm filming, I choose um, guys that are incredible fighters to, to, to work with and hang out with. I don't do it to, to be like them because if, if any of them tried to pick a fight with me, I would run, run so fast. They would have to catch me. Um, and uh, then I could try to do something, but I've seen how they fight. And, I'll, I'll fight with them when we're sparring and training so that I can look good in movies and in TV shows and stuff like that. Or at least decent enough until they can get the stunt double to come in and do the flippy woo hoo hoo things and crazy uh, things that, uh, that the young kids can do now. 
Okay. Fatality. You got caged. That's that's my favorite one. I do that to the people that come up to me at cons, and I do that. Lucane, that's. I just punched his head off. I said I, as if that's me. Johnny Cage. So I'm, just, I'm such an actor. Gaming's see myself. Look at him ripping the. <laughs> he just pushed his face through his chest. That's that's awesome. You know, the guy can come across. You can think he's probably like a douche or something like that. We're not a thing, Cage. Someday you'll be my favorite ex-wife. But there's something about him in the heart where, you know, he's he's down on his luck, he's uh, been beaten, he's not getting accepted in Hollywood the way he was, so he has to go and do these fights to try to, to have some purpose in life. And he doesn't give up. And I think that we can relate to, some of us can relate to that. I mean, I can relate to that. I've been down and out. You do what you can to help support your family and your life, and, you know, you, you do the best you can. And Johnny's trying to do the best he can. Um, <laughs> but he's a douche. <laughs> but he's a douche, and I love that about him. And he's a lovable. He's like a lovable loser. The shot, our face. <laughs> but he's kind of just, just a, uh, you know, this hard-headed. He's getting, he's getting whooped. Come on, Johnny, step it up. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh that, that one looked like he... He's getting up from that? See, he doesn't give up. That's the thing about Johnny Cage. Look at that. Power and strength. He's defensive. He doesn't want to hit the woman. Oh, take it back. <laughs> what did he do? <gasps> How did she survive that? Didn't he just... You know, the, the two women, they destroyed me in this thing. Like that. Finish him! Finish him! <laughs> He's playing with his own doll. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't have any Johnny Cage dolls, but I do have Starship Troopers dolls. I have a whole bunch of them all over the place. So, um... Uh, my kids could play with those when they were little. Some of them called them the Daddy Dolls. But, uh... I don't know. They're just little Johnny Ricos. But a Johnny Cage, that would have been funny to have too. Well, for sure, Johnny Cage, the last person he would want to fight, there's two of them, I think, are Sonya Blade and Cassie Cage. Because you, you don't want to fight the woman that you're, that's in your life because she's just, she's going to destroy you. Because you can't win, you've already lost already because you've given her your heart. And then your, your child, there's no way you can, you could fight your child. Because your heart would just, here, take me, go ahead. You win. I'm caged. I don't think Johnny Cage would be able to fight either his, the mother of his child or his child. Jeez, guys, I'm right here. Anybody else is fair game, because he's cocky. So Johnny would be out there and be like, I'll fight anybody. Might not win, but I'll fight him. I'd love to see Johnny Cage versus Johnny Rico. I'd love to see Johnny Cage versus uh, Brom Bones. I'd love to see Johnny Cage versus Tarzan. That would be awesome. I think Johnny Cage has more superpowers. If Johnny Rico's allowed to use his guns, he's gonna win. If uh, Tarzan's allowed to bring in the animals, he's gonna win. Uh, if the Headless Horseman, uh, that guy got cut in half. He's hard-headed, like Johnny Cage. But Johnny Cage has got more talent there. And Johnny Cage would beat me too. Um, Although I wouldn't quit either, so I'd have fun and I'd be like, Oh my god, you're God, you're Johnny Cage! I played you in Legacy Season 2 and 3! And uh, I'd be like that. And I used to play you when I was a kid. I'd be so excited to play you fighting Johnny Cage. Yeah, I think Johnny Cage would win. I think he would be like, You got caged! And everybody else would be like, Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Gotta get back to the chopper. So cool. Is that Sonya Blade? Sonya, get out of there! Oh, Jesus. That was unpleasantly <laughs> cold. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the split and the uppercut punch. That's the you got cage. 
liked it better when we fought on the same side. Yeah, I would. I, I'm so excited to see them. Is that Sonya Blade? Is that who that's supposed to be right there? Oh yeah, and there's um. Add him to the list of things Shinnok will answer. This would be a great game to play. This looks so cool. Now, RoboCop is also written by Ed Newmeyer, who wrote Starship Troopers. Directed in that movie was also directed by Paul Verhoeven, who directed Starship Troopers. And you have RoboCop in the Mortal Kombat world. How awesome is that? So, is that old Johnny Cage and young Johnny Cage again? Made us an even bigger one. There's the Johnny Johnny Cage. Look at that. He's got the purple. I think if Johnny Cage, old man Johnny Cage is fighting young man Johnny Cage, I think old man Johnny Cage wins. Now there's a lot to say about strength and and uh, the stamina of a young man. It's true, it's true. But there is an old man strength too, and there's also just a wisdom of, of knowing uh, of having been there and done that. There's a lot of things that where I would fight different now when I was younger. Now of course. The ones that are training really hard and fighting uh, are going to be better than an old man who's not fighting. But Johnny Cage is still, he's still in his, he's, old man Johnny Cage is still in all of his training. You can see the guy's fit and working out and still doing it. <laughs> he pulled out a little Johnny Cage that is ripping his face off? What? How do you do that? I didn't know I had that superpower. Best fatality is Johnny Cage doing a split and knock him right in the in the privates. Finishing him. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Slow <laughs> the facial expression is so perfect. <laughs> yes. Does he say you got cage? <laughs> <laughs> I love the cage belt too. Look at that. I also love when they I love when they take the skull right out. <laughs> they rip the skull right out. And the skull with the, the your backbone comes ripping right off. Johnny Cage wins. Fatality. Holy cow. That's the Academy Award. He just stuck it in there. Is Johnny Cage. Cage, Johnny Cage star. There you go. Yeah, actually, I'm. I've actually done that exact thing, falling off a bus uh, onto a, a mat. <laughs> yeah, moves it better. Sometimes, sometimes not. It's awesome. So he is this a cartoon they had? Johnny Cage cartoon. Wow, I, I'm not privy to this one. I should, I should catch, I should catch this one. It's cool. I don't know why I didn't get to do the voiceover for it. Did they get Linden? I have so many amazing things that I love about uh, Mortal Kombat. I, I love watching the movie uh, when it came out. I love playing the games when I was young. But I guess the biggest thrill was when I got asked to play Johnny Cage, and and I went in and literally gave the director. Uh, you know, I never broke character, and I just stayed in this, like, uh, as if I was insulted that I got played. And asked to play this character, and, and, and that and even when I got interviewed by the press people, I would be like, what are you talking about? Because they would all go, you're so perfect as Johnny Cage. And i go, what are you trying to say? And I would just stay in this, I would stay in this really firm place with them. And, and they were, and some people would go to them going, is, is he being serious? And so I guess my, my favorite thing about Johnny Cage was, uh, Mortal Kombat would be Johnny Cage and playing him. And also, you know, just the getting to be around all those martial artists and seeing all these real people work. And in season three, oh, if we could have done it, the end, the end part, there was a thing with me and Kerry Takawa. I guess I could talk about it now because it never came out, but Kerry Takawa, so such a huge fan of him because he's from the first movie. But I guess just getting to be part of that, to be one of the Johnny Cages, is just the coolest thing in the world. You know, I, I love all these things. I love being Johnny Rico. I love being the 20th Tarzan. I love getting to be in Sleepy Hollow. I love, I love these opportunities. I get to play things that I loved as a kid, and that now I'm, I'm part of that history. I'm part of that folklore. People at, at Comic Cons come up to me, and people are like, "You got caged," or you know, many Starship Troopers quotes mostly, but then also some Tarzan things, and so you know, it's just, just a, a thrill. It's always been a, a thrill for me to have these kind of uh, 
uh, connections to things that are things that I loved and still love. I still love them to this day. I I love watching all these different Mortal Kombat games. I love watching Johnny Cage win, of course, it's awesome. Here's Johnny. And I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. I'm Casper Van Dien. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, or X, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're out of here. That's it for Experts React. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Service guarantees citizenship. You got caged.